just an exciting time for the University of North Dakota today to be able to welcome every one of you to this high performance facility here at UND. I can't tell you how pleased I am personally to see the looks of uh, satisfaction and optimism and uh, the sense of, of purpose among our student athletes now as they begin to use this facility to go faster, higher, farther, stronger, all of the things that we aspire to for our student athletes. I do, President Kelly, want to mention one thing which is not unimportant. We just received our certificate of occupancy this morning. So we're good. We're good. It's my job, it's our job as, as athletic administrators to make sure that we provide the best competitive, academic, and personal development experience we can for our student athletes. And this absolutely fits the bill. So to, to all through, to the alumni, UND alumni and foundation, we thank you so much. To all of our donors here, there are several hundred donors engaged in the program. We can't say thank you enough for getting to this point. All privately raised, we wouldn't be here without it. I am so grateful to be able to say a few words this evening, but, but really, really, really grateful for all the people who have worked so hard to make this day possible. Faculty, staff, students, alumni, generous supporters, people who had the courage to believe that this could even be accomplished. And the fact that it could be done with all private funds is even doubly amazing. What a wonderful day this is. There is no question that there is not another facility like this on the face of the planet. With this facility indicating the support for our program, we have the opportunity to attract some of the top talent in the upper Midwest, which is our recruiting base within five hours of Grand Forks and obviously to compete at the top level of the big sky we need to reach out to other areas and regions and it gives us the opportunity to do so. It was about four years ago, came from a small town in Oregon. I was on my recruiting visit for volleyball and they brought me into Brandon Faison's office and there on the table was the design layout for this building. They started talking about it and my eyes lit up and for this building to be here now is huge. It's literally huge. This is the day when everything changes for UND Athletics, it's especially track, because we get to host meets and it's something we haven't been able to do for a long time. If you're on a team right now, occasionally look up on the wall and remember, there's some great people up on pictures on, on this wall. People who didn't have the opportunities that you have. And reverence that. I still love competing at the University of North Dakota, but I have very fond memories of that competition. And one memory as it relates to the High Performance Center really stands out. As my eligibility was winding down, Mike Grandall pulled me aside, but I didn't have a job yet at this point. And Mike pulled me aside and he said, Steve, go do your thing, and someday you'll be back to help us build an indoor facility. Mike had a dream. I never forgot that comment, and although I couldn't make an impact immediately, it really drove me to continue to push for the building of this important project. Mike. It wasn't easy, but 25 years later, your dream has come true. It really is hard to believe, and we thought a lot of times, and I didn't know if I could live long enough to see it. I appreciate all our athletes of the past that, that went through the tough times of running outside and training outside in the middle of winter and such, and, and on the smaller areas or in the concourse around the old Engelstead Arena and stuff, and, but that's all appreciated, but now the, for the athletes now to have this opportunity, and that's what my dad said once upon a time, he said, you don't plant a tree for yourself, you plant it for the, for the future, and I guess that's what you hope.